Since the beginning of time, man has searched for different and more exotic materials for use with the pigments used in their art. From simple cave paintings many tens of thousands of years ago to the perfection seen from masters during the Renaissance, none have ever been as interesting as our next artifact. Known as Han Purple, it has been found on relics dating back 3,000 years. Used in wall paintings, on the terracotta warriors, ceramics, metalwares, and jewelry, the pigment found its way into many ancient Chinese art and amazingly, this intriguing pigment is a technological wonder. It was such an enigma made through such a complex process using many different materials in precise proportions and then heating the mixtures to incredible temperatures. Researchers at the British Museum have discovered that when the pigment is exposed to an LED light source, Han purple pigment will emit a powerful ray of light in near-infrared. According to their study, published in the journal Analytical and Bioanalytical Chemistry, the Han purple pigments show up with startling clarity when under the right conditions, meaning that even faint traces of the color which are invisible to the naked eye can be seen with infrared sensors a complex pigment clearly developed for complex applications. Unlike natural dyes found within antiquity, which are organic compounds, Han purple is a synthetic pigment made from inorganic materials. Scientist Elizabeth Fitzhugh, a conservator at the Smithsonian, was the first to identify the complex synthetic compound that makes up Han purple, including a barium copper silicate. How these ancient people acquired such knowledge is clearly a question which needs to be answered. And although many people often scoff at ancient alien theories, quantum physicists from Stanford, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and the Institute for Solid State Physics of Tokyo have reported that when Han purple is exposed to extreme cold and a high magnetic field, the chemical structure of the pigment enters a new state called the quantum critical point, in which three-dimensional materials loses a dimension. We have shown for the first time that the collective behavior in a bulk three-dimensional material can actually occur in just two dimensions," Ian Fisher, an assistant professor of applied physics at Stanford said in the Stanford report. The researchers have said that the discovery may help understand the required properties of new materials, including more exotic superconductors. Was this marvelous pigment a gift from somewhere else? We find the evidence to be highly compelling. Throughout history, a vast array of individuals who, for whatever reason, became figures idolized by their civilizations. Some even seen as godly-like figures, sentient, divine beings, whom upon their passage into the next life were believed to live on, often as deities, according to New World History. The most academically funded research practices in said preparations into the afterlife is undoubtedly that of the mummies found within ancient Egypt. The Valley of the Kings, impressive protective strategy against tomb raiders. Yet the list of similar protective practices is long. The Sphinx, even claimed as the protector of the pharaoh's pyramidal tombs by some, although we, like so many others, based upon a lack of evidence, is untrue due to the pyramids never having been proven tombs. Yet this theme of protecting the dead clearly permeated historians' minds, and, we suspect, this is due to its recurrence throughout history. The curse of Tutankhamun, yet another relative story deriving from Egypt, with mysterious goings-on during Howard Carter's incredible discovery of King Tut's tomb. Objects of interesting motivations would often be left with these important figures, not just solid gold death masks, thrones, coins, canes, and other jewels, but people of nobility have even been found buried within chariots, complete with eight horses sacrificed for the burial. We have also covered many other booby-trapped tombs, proof of the ancients' own beliefs in their own versions of the afterlife. Yet, unquestionably, the most unique, and due to it remaining unsealed, the most enigmatic of them all, lay still guarded by an equally unique terracotta army. For all soldiers carved to depict an individual man, and the quantum phenomenon interdimensional pigment, Han Purple, still visible upon many of this army. 
What makes this site so unique from all others is that an entire army, along with other baffling technology, guard a tomb, clearly constructed over such an incredible amount of time and with such enormous effort. It must contain someone, or something, of unimaginable importance. Furthermore, as mentioned in a previous video, poison-tipped, inexplicably advanced compound crossbows have been found still laying in situ, protecting the entrance, though at some point coated in sediment, possibly why the terracotta army was found buried. Was this tomb pre-flood? Radar scanning technologies are advancing rapidly, and regardless of the Chinese strict forbiddance to enter the tomb, technology is finally allowing us our first look into just what exactly such an incredible display of power has been guarding for all this time. It's an investigation we find incredibly exciting. The Liangzhu culture, an incredibly ancient, now lost, yet once highly advanced civilization, one which once dwelled on the banks of the Yangtze River Delta in eastern China. The cultural advancements of this civilization have been of archaeological interest for a number of decades, particularly due to its similarity with the growth of our own modern civilization, throwing mystery onto how this once flourishing class-driven civilization suddenly vanished. Burials were often found to have been practiced to different standards. This depended on the financial assets of the individual's family. However, nearly the entire span of this monstrous ancient civilization's ruins lay stratified. Academia has been kept busy documenting their pottery techniques and the mastery they possessed in the manipulation of jade. Yet why they simply vanished some 4,000 years ago, after flourishing unabated from 5,300 years ago, has remained a thorn in their sides, one they were seemingly unable to explain without the partial admittance of an ancient great flood, a reality which it seems they have finally surrendered to. The investigations of this ancient civilization, although not widely known outside of China, have revealed that the civilization shows all the hallmarks of the other advanced global civilizations we have been researching worldwide, most probably linked, we feel. Canal manipulation for irrigation, advanced agriculture, and many other forms of evidence, including advanced plumbing and sewage systems, all lead us to this conclusion. Quote, Yet regardless of this single innovative millennium, the Liangzhu culture mysteriously collapsed around 4,300 years ago, and the ancient city was abruptly abandoned. Exactly why has never been fully understood, although many have suggested some form of catastrophic flooding led to the sudden decline. A thin layer of clay was found on the preserved ruins, which points to a possible connection between the demise of the advanced civilization and floods of the Yangtze River or floods from the East China Sea. Geologist Christoph Spudel from the University of Innsbruck in Austria has finally admitted. We find such conclusions, and indeed the ruins in which they were enveloped, highly compelling.